Hello everyone and welcome back to the Honkai Star Rail walkthrough. So today we kind of left off in a weird place last episode, but we are going to go back into Pinaconi and we are going to go back into the Sleepless Night Dream. So that's going to be super fun. So let's go ahead and see what is up. It's Ooh. getting late. Where to now? Looks like we're in here again. So in the last episode, we fell into this dream, and I don't really know what we're doing in here now, to be honest. Uh, it looks like we're running around. Wait, did that billboard just move? It diddly darn did. Because we are in a dream, and you've got a golden head. According to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Giant eyeball. From the yeah. Oh. Welcome to Dreamscape. That's creepy. Sale. Who's talking to me? It's me, the Dreamscape Sales Store. I also go by the name of Doctor Edward, <laughs> and I'm happy to be at your service. I don't like it. Here's where you get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes, from the top-notch productions of Clock Studios. To private donations. <laughs> we have it all. I'm not mistaken. This is your first visit to Pentecost, isn't it? Yes. Please be rest assured that Dr. Edward will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first dreamscape and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. And that's the end of my analysis. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be a fan of... This dream bomb is a contribution from an anonymous donor and is said to contain the memory of the fallen Ea Nakivili. I can assure you that this dream bubble is perfect for you. How do you know what I want? It's the magic of psychoanalysis, matter. Well, let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream touch it. It is a dream bubble. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? Guilty. Uh, what's going on? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! I'm listening? Who's speaking? <laughs> My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akivili. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akivili. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Anyone's voice will do? Well, it must be someone you're close to. Can it be March? To, unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. <gasps> I can make it March. Splendid! I'm rendering it as we speak. Oh my god. The replication is complete. Now you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape. Okay. To you, as well as the other passengers, Take responsibility for the following malicious conduct. You rode snowmobiles into the Tykian Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Do you plead guilty to this accusation? Oh, yes. I plead guilty. <laughs> March, no. You sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget 
on 250 nose walker cubs. You kept them in the restroom, where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Oh. Do you plead guilty to this accusation? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly popo pies! What? And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving! No, pom pom. You plead guilty to this charge? I don't like how close you are. The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet! This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. What? There are cases of entire What is going on? From the Express Databank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glass. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. What does all these have to do with Oxybeak? I don't think I said that right. I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this drink. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Uh, sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. Uh, who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. Who? Who is that guy? That's all for the content of this stream, bucket. How was your experience? That's it? <laughs> this stream bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credit. Of course. I almost expected something like this. This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, are you going to buy it? I'll buy it. <laughs> Never mind, I won't buy Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. You think I made oh, out of money? <laughs> As this is your first time using the dream bubble, here's a sticker for you. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape past and commemorate your unique trip to Penacone. Thanks, bud. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. I mean, we did learn that there was a guy that way. Get her. who split the train in two. What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Oh, no. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. How can I help? Hey, look. She has an accomplice. Ha, good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. Excuse me? Oh, shoot, we're fighting. Okay. Okay, we're fighting. Uh, you bully. Uh, okay, so for this account, I did spend some time trying to actually, like, raise these characters. But I need to get, um, I think just March and Bailu, I need to get them some more, uh, talent resources. And then they'll be up to, uh, talents, like, completed. And then I can work on relics, because, um... If you've Let's seen go. the stream version of where I am in Pinaconi, obviously you know this already. I'm gonna put this Watch on this, um, awesome this so I can talk. But um, yeah, no, I can't beat Aventurine on my main account, so I'm actually having to go in and do some relic farming because my light cones are good, my talents are good, so I'm trying to use that knowledge to prepare these characters. So I feel like this is a good kind of free-to-play team for him especially. So we'll just have to see. Oh shoot. I wish that I did have a uh, Japard though, because Bro was a great shielder. <laughs> like, a great shielder. 
This is taking forever, too. <laughs> there we go. Woo. There we go. One more. Also, I thought we were gonna fight people, not like these little guys. Mechanical man. There we go. Get out of here. Are they at? Oh, That's hello. Enough, boys. Oh no. Hey, how you doing? Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer. Sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. Ayo. Hey, sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair. And you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, sir. So they're looking for a boy with silver hair? Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. What about the stowaway? The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. Legally? We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Huh? Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Okay. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If yeah, you do. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Uh, well, my help doesn't come free. Uh, I understand. It's only right to Money. return the favors I receive. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacone? Yup. Uh, are the nameless really that famous? <laughs> you bet! The Interastral Peace Broadcast recently did a whole segment about your glorious achievements. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the Bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> That's awesome. I happen to need a tour guide. Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Oh, did I? Over here. Oh, we got a tour it's guide, a I guess. Bad idea to get to know about this place. Oh, here we go. Where are we going? Right here? The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. We're in a dream, though. How can you buy stuff? There are also stores that sell luxury goods, what? apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. 
Items purchased in the dreamscape can also be brought That's into weird. reality through an extra service. Oh. Okay. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Okay, that kind of answers that question. Just outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. Yeah, you kind of need to buy me a nice meal. I helped you. Oh my god, we were just standing in water. <laughs> just standing in the plaza, okay. These NPCs are really cool. Here? What do you want me to do? Hello? Oh, you want me to be behind you? Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. No. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic soul glad. You shouldn't have. No worries. You can buy me a meal next time. Okay, sure. Probably won't do because I'm broke after... Oh, actually, I got money. Oh, my God. Never mind. I'm not broke anymore. Hello, uh, Jay. Most iconic dish. Take your pick. Uh, I want an oat cake. That looks good. Um... I feel like I'm more of a pizza than burger person. And I kind of- um, I'll take- we'll take the ice cream. I still got some money. <laughs> can I- oh, I can actually spend all of it? Okay, never mind. That's probably the order of the stuff that I'd get. Um, this is... Uh, yep. Are you done ordering? You... you have great taste! <laughs> My cord was in the way. I yeah, you will. Um, now, let's go this way. You're welcome. I bought everything so we can sample it. Together. I like how they just, like, supposedly ate all that food standing right there. <laughs> to be fair, I would have taken the cake. The cake would be the first thing. This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. Okay. I really like Firefly. She's really cute. Oh, I heard someone whistling in my ear. The NPCs really feel alive. I'm fall. Oh, this dude just spawned in. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Sure thing. Look, that's the statue of Clocky. Pentagoni's famous cartoon character. He's got a bird. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Pentagoni. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. That reminds me of Loki. You know how they have that little clock in Loki? That's what this reminds me of. Um, Isn't having a clock as a character a bit um, um, ominous? Ominous? I can say that Clocky word. Is a household name here. There would never be anything ominous about him. I don't like his eyes. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? I don't know who that is. Watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. Sorry. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Pentaconi. The founder of the dreamscape. The man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Pentagoni as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. How do you become a watchmaker? As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Pentagoni in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Pentagoni knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. Oh. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Uh, thanks. Just be nice, My I guess. Pleasure. Here, give me your phone. Be nice, Deli. Hey, hey, hey! Help! Help me! 
Is that the clock? The cry is coming from Clocky's. Oh, it's the little bird. What's that? It looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me up! Help me! Grow me too. <laughs> the eyelashes are begging to be pulled out, which feels a little bit too much like a dream. Yank him! Yank him! Yank him! You want a photo with him? Yeah, give me, give me that photo. Sure. It's done. It came oh, out great. I didn't get to yank my guy. You took a nice clock picture or clocky or something? Yeah. The eyelash wants to come out. Okay, here you go. Yank. Ayo. Hi. Look at you. Hi. Hi. You shouldn't have. I don't like this. This scares me. After letting out an adorable trip, the bird flies away. Before it left, it seems to have offered some kind of reward. The first thing you need to go is to the main tree first. Perhaps you can meet it again there, just to see what that nice thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly Why are you breaking, like, the story quest stuff with a side quest? What the heck? I rescued a bird. A bird with sharp edges and points. A bird with sharp edges and points. Why? Why can't I? What? If you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. How come I am the one who can see this? Like, can no one else see anything? Also, let me get this chest real quick. So apparently, it's a bird that only I can see. Can you see that building in the distance? I can. That's the famous Grand Theater. Oh. Another great landmark of Penacony. Farina's over there. That's a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are, the best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Okay, if I want to get a seat. Oh, there's people Next, in the way. I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. I can really have fun? We're going to another restaurant? Because that's where I have fun. Oh, that place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. I feel like I need to be behind her. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. <laughs> I just now realized you can hear Robin singing in the background. Let's turn it up a bit. That's Robin's song, if you could hear that. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He wow. also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. You can hear it. Well, she said get ready now. I can hear Robin singing in the back. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacony's Dreamscape. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. She abruptly freezes. In a fleeting moment, you notice a cautious shift in the girl's gaze. 
piercing directly into your brow or perhaps somewhere behind you. What's up? What are you looking at? Firefly returns to her warm and gentle disposition. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. I don't like that. That's suspicious. <laughs> Can I hear Robin? Not really. I like that they kind of have that thrown in here. Because Robin's song are they're See just bangers. These musical instruments playing themselves with no human oh. in Oh. Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the memoria. Okay. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories, and uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troupe. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go okay. ask the security guards nearby for help. That's not good at all. Not at all. Hey, there's a ride attendant over there. Let me get some. Oh. Hello. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacony. May I get some ID tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Do I have that? Okay, good. <laughs> Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. How many tokens are there? Ten. You Ten. may now enjoy the attractions in Pentacony to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's live it to the fullest. Heck yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Let me see. Which one should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. I'm guessing this is one. Oh, she followed me. Oh, okay. I'm playing slots. Humongous prize, come on, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh. Wow, you won something on your first attempt. Impressive. That ain't that impressive. That's huge. I don't think balloons would stop it. Uh, okay. That kind of sucked. I want to play more. No, I want the humongous prize. I like games like this you because... I'll go and get some drinks. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I like games like this because it's all up to chance. There's no skill. <gasps> oh, it landed on it for a second. You teased me. You teased me, making me think I won. At least I got a better prize this time. Yeah. Oh, I'll take that. Okay, what was the other thing? Was it this? This is the other one. Okay, this one costs less, too. Oh, that sucks. No, I want good prize. No. No, good What's prize. Firefly so long? She's getting drinks. She's heading toward the bar. Girl, calm your booty hole. I got a hat. Takes a while to get drinks. You know, there's lines. I want the big prize. I want the big prize. I got two more shots after this one. Oh my god, I want the big prize. <laughs> Please, I want the big prize at least once. Super big prize, yeah! There we go. Don't give me ice cream. Please, give me something useful. Oh, thank god, that's useful. Okay, last I've token. Used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Woo! In a row. Oh my god, I'm amazing. I'm cracked. See, you just complain a little bit and you get stuff. That's how the rules go. Okay. Did you get our drinks? Oh. <laughs> this dude is barfing rainbows. Uh, no, I wanted to get... I wanted to get the little guy here and I'm talking to the throwing up man. How am I talking to you and you're throwing up? I want the yank. I want to yank. I want to yank it. Don't take that out of concept. <laughs> How do I... There we go. Yank. Hello. Thanks. Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? 
It's nice everywhere you go, it's just magical. I know, right? It's a dream that's loving and forgiving to everyone. Just like the family. It's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. You just said that you were a native, though, you know? She said that she lived... Yeah. You're... Aren't you a local? I am. At least for now. Girl, what do you mean by that? I don't, I don't trust you. Why do you look so sad? Hey, can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. you gonna kiss me? Did you travel here alone? That's a freaky question Ask someone you just met. Uh, it depends on what you want to do. Yeah. You're kind of being weird. I don't like this. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not. But I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well... Someone's been following you. Who's that? Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're Who's his him? target. Who's him? He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Who? I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about 5 feet, 11 inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter. I can take him. Covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender. And Is that Sampo? I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes. What are you doing hair. here? Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer Girl. Why are you here? It's been such a long time, old friend. I don't like Sampo. No. <laughs> what a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. It could have been anyone else. <laughs> anyone. Sampo? Yes. It's none other than your old friend, Sampo. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> You know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped Yorello 6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Don't worry about it, Firefly. We don't like him. Oh, Miss March. Don't you remember March, that me? ain't March. <laughs> After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog. This is Firefly. She's my tour guide. And you should get your eyes checked. Are you sure March 7 looks like this? My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo. Sempo. And I'm an old pal of hers. Firefly, let's go. Come on. It's been so long since we last met each other. How can you just walk away like that? I just can. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged I got to a tour. give you a tour of this I'm good. area. Nah, I don't need you. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups... Excuse me? I think I could do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. You're giving me Predator vibes. I don't like that. They don't look like they're adults. Well, uh, Mr. Sampo... Anything bothering you? Firefly, Miss you need Firefly? to run. Don't worry. 
This isn't going to involve anything illegal. I don't like that. Doesn't sound good. You're giving me bad vibes. Like, I need to call Chris Hansen or something to catch a predator vibes. I don't like that. They don't look like they're adults. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. I don't like simple. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Okay. I guess I can do that. Yeah, I know how to use the boing boing. The boing boing. Activate. Oh, wrong way. Boink. And then boink. And then boink. Boom. 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 Oh, I like when there's more because it makes more noise. And I like that. Is this... The lower level of the commercial district? Bingo! Our destination is right there. This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people. Or those with VIP cards. But He's then dancing again, to Robin. Nothing is too difficult for... Senpo. Hello. Here we are again, pal! Huh? Oh, it's you. You here to relax? Right! I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? I like how it's teasing Robin's song, because I was full about to rise up into my world and then it didn't didn't hit. Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. Oh. I've already seen yours. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the wow, card. Wow, thanks, Sampo. Well, seems like we can't go in. What should we do? Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. What are you talking about? Just a few intense emotions. As far as how we'll use them, you just wait and see. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. Oh, this is weird. <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said, do with them as you see fit. What? Miss Thunderbolt is such a Broken dreams. Person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. I don't want to see it. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I got some uh, relics at least. Is that... TV? Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road? <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade! This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape! It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? I don't like your voice line, Sampo. Why don't you try it yourself? Oh, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> well, I do think there's something fishy with this TV. This belongs to the family. How can there be anything wrong with it? If you aren't up for it, I'll just do it myself. 
two almost synchronously turned their gaze towards you or perhaps more precisely it was the three of them including the guy with a trembling oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen you know it's time to make a choice so do you take a chance and touch the television to see what intriguing events might unfold you take a deep breath close your eyes muster great courage and with a resolve as weighty as three exclamation points or marks you reach to the suspicious screen before you I don't like this. <laughs> I wish they would quit looping that same bit of Robin's song. Oh my. Is that me? Wait, what? Why did you turn into this thing? Dang, I'm hot. Gosh, you guys are tall. <laughs> oh my god, this is me now? Goodness me, you guys are so tall. You desperately want to say this, but somehow you transform into a certain cartoon character. Your name is Hanyu, a candid and tacky turn figure, a lover of your hat and leader of the werewolves, a Pinnacani's famous long form cartoon clocky. You're also the mascot of the Bloodhound family. <coughs> I need to clear my throat. <laughs> you silently protect the peace of Dreamville. According to your character traits, you can only make a cool grunting noise as a response right now. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. I don't know what happened. What's happening? You desperately want to see if there's- Yeah, okay. I know this already. Cool grunt. Man, it really was cool. So cool. Thanks. You got swag now, I had now. swag before, Sampo. So, how did she turn into that? Oh, you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. I don't like it. <laughs> now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or, you can just touch this TV. Okay, what's the point of this, though? Uh, fine, what do I need to do? Uh, okay, yeah, I can't say that. I guess that's the only thing I can do. Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck! Thanks. Okay. I'm small now. I don't really like this, not gonna lie. <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu! Well, that's kind of rude. Oh, look how small you've become. You won't be able to escape. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I got to return to my normal size here. Is there anything over this way? Can I actually hit this? I guess not. Okay. I need to bust this. <laughs> so who is this? Who's the bad guy here? That we're like fighting against Stone? Oh, hey, another one of these guys. How you doing? I'm not here to talk right now. <laughs> oh, the bird's mad because I can't really speak right now. I'm just, I'm just a little guy. Yeah, okay. I guess I can teleport. I'm just a little guy. Oh, I don't like that. That was a little bit too much. Hello. Give me that. Um, I guess I have to go back over there now? Do I need to do something here? Do I need to break anything over here? I guess not. Do I need to break anything over here? Yeah. Give me that basic treasure. Give me that basic. Give me that basic treasure. Okay, now we can go at we can go back to the little form, which is literally the same height as me. It's fine, and then we'll just leave. 
Wait, we did get the treasure, didn't we? I guess not. What was the treasure? What? Oh, do I? Oh, I was supposed to use. Oh, I was supposed to use the other one. Okay, okay. There's like another one, isn't there? Or am I just dumb? How do I get this treasure? I think it's this one, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do. No crap! You foiled my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Fine. I'll admit it. You've rescued Dreamville once again. But you just wait. I'll be back! Okay, you'll be back. After going all out, you find yourself at the entrance to Boss Stone's maze. Okay, cool. Can I not be in this form anymore? Please and thank you. This was not really that fun. <laughs> For the story, maybe, but in general, I hate that. Sampo. You're back! <sighs> Are you alright? No. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. Why did he want us to get handcuffs? Like I said, I feel like I need to call Chris Hansen on him. Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. Aren't we in a dream? Just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. But I thought we were already in a dream. Uh, where do you want me to go, Sampo? Where does he want me to go? Over here? Where's that? What? Oh, here? Maybe? Oh, I can't go in? Do I have to be small? Wait, do I actually have to be small? I'm, I need to be like 1.3 meters or something? Like here? No. I don't know if this is something I'm actually supposed to do or not. Damn, I guess I can't get in there. Uh, okay, I need to figure out where they want me to go. <laughs> Um, it's like up a level or something, yeah, right? Quite a bit. Yeah, this way. To I think. Oh, I found something. Where the heck are they trying to make me go? Where is this? Can I teleport? I'm gonna teleport. Okay, that makes it easier. Back to this guy. I was on the lower level, I guess. Not you again. <laughs> Dr. Edward and yourself. Ah, the trailblazer of the Astral Express. <laughs> Here we are again. Uh -huh. I see you've got two friends with you. Bless you, my fun people. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. I'll be my guest. Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it! I don't the wanna go in his dreamscape. Be perfect! Um, what's going on? This is a service we offer to our long time. I don't like it. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. Relevant emotion prototypes. I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Any dreams you want? Exactly! Looks like you've got the picture. You've probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? No, usually my dreams are like I'm being chased or I've like peed myself in public and I'm like I want to wake up. A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Oh, she looks sad. Oh no, she's got trauma. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness. But please be patient. 
Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. Why does he sound like that? I don't like it. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, have a look. Oh, I can't keep that? Dang. Calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. It's ready. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the tree. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I guess I'm in another dream or something. Also, they really need to fix that little lag spike there. Where's this? Oh. Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Yeah, it's Sampo's dream. Why is it empty? How did I end up here? This is part of my dreamscape. Bellabog is the setting for this dream. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. See, that's so weird. Why is Pentaconi so weird? Is this another note? Uh, become the garbage king? Through the trash bags have not been long broken. What? What do you mean by this? Well, I have no idea. I didn't come here when I had this dream. Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you see. I don't like that. That's ominous. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? What is happening? Or the trash cans everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> deal with deal. Okay. <laughs> You're speaking in riddles. against the evil king or something like that okay ha uh but i haven't agreed to anything doctor i like that one didn't have time to make any alternative storylines just accept it kusa patta habarata tatta hana batu ha patta esse batta hala batta I'll be your king. Okay. I'm confused. Yeah, me too. Trash Mindy's stands quietly. Its lid was chipped in faded paint. It's meticulously counting the roadside trash. It keeps me sighing, scratching his head. Okay. Uh, I need proof of trust. Not of trash. Okay. Something to do with these trash cans. Uh, okay. There's nothing in there. Comic book. The pages are torn and damaged. It tells of adventure. Talov was once a brave trash can with vigilance and willpower. It defeated a colossal junk monster and saved a human from its monstrous maul. In order to repay the human, turned himself into a trash can. It's actually a horror story. Yeah, no shoot. A true sting? What is that? Oh, is it one of those bugs? Oh, I hate these things. Oh, God. 
Okay. Okay, guys, if you realize that my characters are a little bit different in my party, I actually had to restart this and do it again because my characters were not built. They were not the right elements, whatever you call them, to do the bug swarm battle. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. So we got one. One of these, I think. Oh my god. Okay, I got... Whatever the proof of trust I need. Proofs of trust I need. Uh, do, I don't know if I need to talk to them. I feel like you are nothing. Uh, what is this? Remove the seal. Oh. A giant trash can? Hello. Imprisonment. Oh, great. But I'm a person, not a trash can. Uh, okay. Audience trash can? Okay, I am gonna kind of skip over some of this because trash can revolution basically is what's happening. Oh, wow, beautiful can. Serious can, wise can. I am the one worthy. I finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them. Yeah. Why do I need these? That was the dream? Why? Why? Oh, there's more? There's more dream. Okay, well, Is I do have the final battle different characters. Place? Not sure how I feel about this. Me either. So, didn't they say the Garbage King would wait for me here? Have I been set up? I have you? Oh! <laughs> Sampo! <laughs> I don't like this. Is he the garbage king? What is going on? Oh my god, boy. Exactly. Thank you, Firefly. Thanks for having some common sense, I guess. This is... ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This game is so unserious. What? A bummer? I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. It really is a shame. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. The truth? The truth? What truth? Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern-day Penacone? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm going to be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Sampo, just what exactly are you up to? Same as always, pal. If you still don't get it, just turn around and take a look. He's being very cryptic. Is that girl still here? Oh, where's she gone? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious? I find you suspicious. You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot-free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. 
I don't like what him being Phil here. Mean? Is Firefly hiding something? I must find her and demand an explanation from her. Mm -hmm. She shouldn't be too far off. Whoa, nice. There she is. Hey there, how you doing? <sighs> the girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance, as if evading your gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I don't find you suspicious. <laughs> Thank you. There are things I'm hiding from you. Yeah, I can tell. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. I really love that kind of life. <sighs> Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Sure, I believe you. Thanks. Okay. Her own secret base. Where is that? Oh, we're following her. I'm coming. I'm following. Let's go this way. Oh. Okay. She running. Huh? Is something something crying? Help! Help me! Someone's dying! Please come here! What's going on? Is there a problem? Oh, you can't see it either? Uh, I can see a clock with limbs. Can you really see me? Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still Misha. Misha! Oops, I, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Panacone. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight, Mickey Mouse Wannabe, and Misha! Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! Clocky, how can I help? Uh, Clocky? Do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? Yes, I saw him. Um. Where is he? I, I can't see him. Tick tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Me? Like this really? He said only children can see him, and you said he he said you weren't innocent, kind, or honest. Just how so? Tick tock, tick tock. My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. My friend Misha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. He's begging for my help. He says someone's life is in danger. Uh, is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this um clocky? That only you can see? I don't think you're lying, as anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Tick tock! Tick tock! Hurry up and follow me, great friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me bring you to him! The name of Misha rings a bell to yeah. me. Anyway, better check out what's going on. It's the guy, the bellhop guy. The hamster ball night. There's a crowd over there. Oh! Looks like something really Everyone, please, calm down! Uh, everyone, please stay calm! You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Yeah! Punish your boss! <sighs> How did it come to this? Isn't that Akron and Misha? I know all these people. Uh, who's Misha? See? I wasn't lying! Misha really is in trouble! TikTok! What do you want me to do about it? You, my great friend, begging you! Please help Misha! Uh, fill me in what's going on first. Wait, are you talking to Clocky? 
Huh. I'm really curious, too. Tick-tock! Tick-tock! It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. Sounds like Dr. Eggman from Sonic. He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. What is clockwork? Here, I'll show you. First, close your eyes. Tick tock. Now, oh. our minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy? Searching through your body? All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won! Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all. Tick tock! Okay, we gotta change people. Oh my god, we are literally a phantom heart. Thief. We're changing their emotions. Mind your own business, lass. Hey, yo. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. What did she do to you? Here comes the clockwork. Okay, we need good emotion. Okay. Let's do happy. <laughs> I saw a dial and it got moving. Here comes the clockwork! It's just that... Seeing that gleeful smile on his face. Oh, he's just as scary as he was oh. before. Hello, everyone! Please allow me to welcome all of you to Penacone There's a guy Land back there. The dreams. Oh, come on now. Line up and give our honored guests a warm welcome. I'm sure. sure. Ready? Go! Um, thank you. Ah, it's my honor. It's only right we give guests a proper welcome. <laughs> you may be your welcome. welcome. Well, seems like you've established yourself as an important figure around here. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, but can we have some privacy, please? Sure thing. Ah, you're the boss. Gang, let's give our VIP some space, eh? Yes, yes boss. Ah, <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? Hi, Misha. She's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about her before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's her. Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew. I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. No need to thank me. It's the least I can do. About all the commotion just now? I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway. I owe you another one. Is this lady uh, your friend, too? Well, we've only met each other once before. But she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. Oh, shoot. The, the flirty. Beautiful lady. By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that, too. 
What happened back there exactly? The clock told me to do it. Clocky taught me some clockwork. That's right! It was me! Clocky! They can't see you. Of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dream Bell would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality, but I mean in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. <sighs> it seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clocky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. He's right there. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. The elegant memo keeper? Shortly after we parted ways, I felt someone's spying eyes on me. I looked in the mirror and spotted a lady wearing a black veil. We had a deep conversation, but I won't bore you with the details. Why does she talk in red sometimes? Like, is she Jesus in the Bible or something? Just occasionally talks in red. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that Clocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagined. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream and I shall not interrupt your date. My date? <laughs> no. We're not on a date. But what if I want to be on one? <laughs> That's just mean. <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my gay friend. I thought that he said my gay friend for a second. I was like, I mean, if Firefly wants me as a date, I am happy. I really appreciate your help. Happy to serve. The nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Tick tock. Oh, why are you so slow? Please come with me. Oh. Oh. Hi, Misha. Oh. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Okay. So that's where I am going to end it for today. <laughs> we'll see what. Who's Girl, next? stop talking. We'll see what Firefly wants in the next episode. But if you enjoyed this one, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!